Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing the part two of the little game I uploaded two or three days ago of 2048. Um, if you haven't watched the, you know, that video, I highly recommend you to do it. I know the lighting is quite bad and I don't know what to do, okay, because I literally just recorded your video and it looked fine and then I go up. So, okay, never mind. Okay, so. <laughs> um. Let's keep going with this, okay? So basically we create a grid, we put numbers, and that's really about it, okay? That's all we did. We also checked a function that checks if we're pressing the upper arrow, down arrow, right or left, okay? That's it. So, hell. Don't know what that is. Uh, application, item, resources. Okay, never mind. So, so, what the game is about is, if there's any moves left, so what that means is there's any number that's empty, so we should check every single number in the grid and check if there's a number. I look at the lighting, okay. So if we as there any number that's zero, then this moves in this, you know, this moves. So we can check, oh, if this moves left, then we have to check what value if we're pressing left, right, up, or down. And if we are, then we have to say, okay, shift if it's left, which is that way. A uh, shift everything this way, okay, to the left. Then add up the numbers that are equal. So we have two twos that are, you know, beside each other. Add them up, and then shift everything again. Okay, that's basically what the game is about. So what we should do if moves if moves um moves if more moves yeah that's a, that's not a good one if more moves then check the keyboard so we can do like a checklist okay we can do check the keyboard um shift sh shift everything and then insert number okay so we have to insert a number so we shift everything and then we should add in one of those empty spaces insert a number that's it so how um what's more moves more moves doesn't have any meaning yes so basically more moves is going to be a function that's going to return either true or false so we're going to have more moves so this function is going to, it's going to have a for loop so var i is equal to it's quite easy okay i is equal to zero i has to be less than 16 i plus plus and then if cell i dot num okay so if the number that each cell is equal to zero. All we have to do is just return true. If not, it's gonna go through the for loop and it's gonna say, well, every single number has a number that's not zero, then it's just gonna return false. And if it if it returns false, this if statement is not gonna happen. Oh yeah, and this should have in oops, okay. As I said before in the previous video. <laughs> Um, there, are, these are gonna be like ten minute videos, and also, if you want me to do more videos like this, like little games in other languages like C, Java, maybe Python, and um, then just let me know in the comments, okay? So, if more moves, then do the keyboard. So, how about we have a console, okay? And we do yes. So if there's more moves, which this should print, it should print yes. So there you go, yes, 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 yes. So what happens if we assign to every single number a number one? Okay, there's no logs, okay, so that does work. Okay, that's the way to test everything, okay? Every while you should test your code and see if it works because if you write like 500,000 lines of code and then you try to test it and it doesn't work, you will know where to start. So, um, which I don't really do in the videos anyway, so I don't know why I'm talking, but uh, that's the way to do it. So, let's just set that back to zero and let's just refresh. Okay, so if more moves, then what do we do? We check the input from the keyboard, which we already did in the previous video. Now we have to shift everything. We should, we should have a function that says move and is going to take a parameter called we don't really need to take a, a parameter because move is the variable that stores 
if we're moving it to the right, left, up, or down. So we don't. Well, we, yeah, we can do it. Now nah, we don't really need to. Okay. So move. What does move do? If no, no. So we need, it's a function. Okay. I I know I should make everything in different folders, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. For the moment, a function move. So this function is going to take if move is equal to zero, it's equal to one. So if move is equal to one, we said one is up, we need to shift everything up. We have a tiny problem, is that in JavaScript, there's no 2 to erase. And that would have been really easy. So all we have to do is just basically do a bit of math here. And if you want to skip this part of the video, you're welcome, because it's actually quite annoying to do. I think I'm just going to make the bit to do move up, move one, and then two, three, or four. I'm going to do it off screen. I'm going to put it, paste it, and come back. Okay, so if move is equal to one, what do we need to do? What is it? First, shift everything up. So, um, we need a for loop. So, var i is equal to zero, i has to be less than 16, i plus plus. I think we need to change that. So, we go one by one. So, because the first one we don't need to shift this, because we can't really shift it, we need to start from i equal to four. So, four is this one. Zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we start from this one and then we push everything up. Okay, how do we push it? No, actually, no, we need to start from zero and we need to start from zero because if the number is equal to zero, when we say if cell i dot num is equal to zero, then we need to say cell i i plus i plus. Okay, so we need to say, okay, if this one is equal to zero. Shift this one up, so a uh, i plus four because there's four for every down. Okay, so that we're trying to shift. If that's for zero, we need to shift this one up. So that's zero, one, two, three, four. So we need to add four. Um, so we need to say cell i dot num is equal to cell i plus four dot num, and then we need to set back the that one we just set it to zero okay because then we're just multiplying values so cell i plus four dot num equal to zero okay so one thing we should do to test this the best way to do it is basically play it and to play it we do something now we have a grid that has zero 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 all zeros let me take the time we have eight minutes okay so um what what we should do right now is we should as random values, okay. So we can create a variable here called by that's a set of function, okay. By random, no, with two m's, it's equal to round because we want an integer, random number one or two, okay. So it's gonna be either one or two, and then we're gonna multiply it by four, by two. Why? Because uh, we can either put a 2 or a 4. That's how the game works. So, if we get a number 1, we multiply by 2 is 2. If we get 2, we multiply by 2 is 4. So it's either 2 or 4. So it's random probability, okay? And then also we could create a, a variable called var. No, we can create it here. So we can say var rand is equal to. Um, Okay, how much is the probability? Let's just say round, random, and then we say from 0 to 10. If, if, okay, so we should put that as well in the for loop. So if rand is equal to is greater than seven okay then we say var number is equal to random and then all we have to do else if not we say number is equal to zero and instead of putting zero now hard coding it we just put number and that should work Okay, so we have this one, this one, this one, this one. If we refresh again, we have fours and twos. Okay, that's really probability. Okay, we can change. I hope you understand what I just did. You're not just pause the video and go back. Okay, so, um, 
So how about if we try to test this? Okay, we have if move is equal to one, do that. Okay, just shift everything up. So if we do one, as you can see, that's not working, and that is a little problem. Oh, also, it shouldn't be less than sixteen because with these numbers, we're not gonna touch the, that, that numbers. Okay, those numbers. So we have to say it's less than sixteen. It's less than twelve. I suppose. Okay, let's see if we have any errors, okay? Because we might do have any errors and um, some errors. Oh, we have one. Move is not a function in move. Okay, I think move is already a um, function, so let's just call that move with capital M. Okay. Oh, look. Everything shipped up, okay? So I think that did work. Problem we have is that I think the problem we have is that everything is not been shift up. See the two there, the two hasn't been shift up at all. It just shifted once. So we're just doing okay. Shift once, shift once. But what happens is the previous number is zero. Okay, we have all zeros and two. So to deal with this, we could just create a new function again for var j is equal to zero. And j has to be less than sixteen. We said 12. How many times do we want to? It's all it wants to happen four times. Uh, the text, okay? A uh, J plus plus. And what I love about Atom, okay? Some people ask me um, what my, what's my editor, and it's Atom. Um, it's quite good, okay? Okay, so now if we do refresh, we have a two there, we should shift all the way up. Okay, so we did. So now we have a function that is shifting everything up. Okay. I think that's working. Yeah, okay, that's shifting everything up. So okay, so that's working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the video now. This is gonna be the end of part two of this video. And I'm gonna leave obviously in in other videos I'm gonna put the you know the you know the, the link to download this code so you can go through it. And I'm gonna do in the previous video, I'm gonna try to finish off, okay? So thank you for watching, and the video has been 12 minutes again. <laughs> so, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. So, I uh, thumbs up if you like this, and if you don't, well, just okay. I'm gonna get some, okay? So, thank you for watching, and bye bye.